channel creative art i am nilima and in today's video we are going to make this beautiful tanjore glass painting which is an fusion art fusion art is basically combining two to three different art forms into one to make this kind of beautiful painting in this video friends if you are going to mix up Tanjore painting with glass painting to get a beautiful Tanjore glass painting like this. It does have that beautiful effect of gold. As you can see, we have placed gold foil and that brilliant coloring of glass colors. It is easy to clean, easy to handle and easy to make as well. It takes very less time to make as compared to a real Tanjore painting. So friends, do watch the complete video to make it yourself and do subscribe my channel for more creative art painting videos and do press the bell icon to get notification for each video I post every week. I also have a special announcement to make for all my art lovers who wanted art related videos in Hindi. So here I have my new channel which is Creative Art Home in which I will be posting all the art related videos in Hindi adding with many more exciting and fun videos through which you'll get to know me more and better. So friends, do click on the link given in the description box below of my new channel which is Creative Art Home and do subscribe it to watch all my videos in Hindi. Let's view all the materials now friends. To make a Tanjore glass painting, first of all, for coloring, we're going to need Fevicryl glass colors which are water-based and available in 10 shades. You can also use the next packet which is Fevicryl glittering glass colors to do any glittering effect on your Tanjore glass painting. And for lining, we're going to use Camel glass liner which is also water-based and it is available in 3 different shades. For this painting, I'm going to use 261 metallic gold, 262 metallic silver and black 832 which is available with the same pack itself. Other than this three to four colors, you can also use Camlin or Fevicryl Cone Liner which comes in this kind of bottle. It also has this kind of conical applicator so that you can do the lining part very easily. But I always suggest you to use this cone liner only to place a dot or for any small designs like red bindi or red lips. Other than that, I always advise you to use a glass liner to do the designing part, not the acrylic liners. For Tanjore part, this time we are going to use this kind of gold sheets which are very fragile but it gives you a very very beautiful shine like gold these are very easily available on amazon and this is a best alternative to do a tanjore painting on glass to apply this gold sheet on glass we're going to use a gliding glue which is available from little birdie and other than these material friends we can also use some fine glitters to mix up with the glittering glass colors or the normal glass colors to achieve that glittering look few cotton buds and a pin to remove excess bubbles on the glass color a flat hair brush for removing the excess gold sheet and a round hair brush for applying the gliding glue other than that i'm also going to use a tweezer to pick up the gold foil and a cutter if it is needed to cut any sides of the gold foil for base we are going to use an acrylic sheet of 12 into 12 inches in size and 3 mm in thickness Acrylic sheet is something which is made out of clear plastic and this is a perfect replacement for a glass sheet as it has many advantages. The most advantage of a glass sheet is it does not shatter like an ordinary glass and it is scratch proof as it comes in this kind of coating which you have to peel out it is absolutely crystal clear and transparent which you can see after peeling both the sides and the best part is its thickness is just 3 mm which is very much ideal to do any kind of glass painting if you buy an ordinary glass of 3 mm you will observe that there are many scratches on it and even on an OHP sheet, when you handle it badly, it can get many scratches. So this is one of the best alternative to use, which we are going to use in this video. So let's start the video now, friends. First of all, friends, to make this painting, you will need a reference to do the designing part, which you can easily get from my website, which is www.creativearthome.com. 
Now let's start by removing the protective layer of one side and then we'll place it on our reference. Now after peeling out the protective layer from the acrylic sheet, this is how clean and clear it looks. So gently place it exactly on the part you want to do the lining. So I have decided to place the design exactly in the center of the acrylic sheet in this way. And then using a masking tape, I'm going to secure the acrylic sheet with the reference paper. Now after securing all the four sides, I'm going to use a black glass color outliner to do the lining part. You can also use golden, silver or bronze color liner to do the same. I will be doing this part by part. While doing this, make sure that you're doing it freehand and your liner is flowing freely. If you get any irregular lining, simply use a pin and insert it from the top to clear this hole and you'll get a continuous lining. And if you make any kind of mistake while doing the lining part, simply use a cotton bud and pick that excess line in this way very easily just before it gets dry. Okay? So in the same way friends, I'm going to complete the lining part using different colors of liner. Now friends, I have completed doing all the lining part using different color of glass liners. This is the gold glass liner, black glass liner, silver glass liner and additionally I have also made use of cone liner red and cone liner metallic pink. And in some part friends, as I'm going to do gold coins which are flowing from the colors and hands. So I haven't done any direct lining part right here because I'm going to make use of the gold gliding glue which is very helpful to place gold foils where exactly I want. So as the glue is flowing like this, you can either use a brush and start filling up the gold parts wherever you want to place the gold foil or else you can simply Fill it up in an empty glass color bottle which looks like this and using this you can start placing or filling it up in the parts in a very very light quantity. You don't have to heavy dose the part. Just fill it up in a very light way and let it dry for at least 15 minutes when it will turn transparent. It is absolutely ready to place a gold foil. I have selected this technique because it is really easy to place a drop using this kind of small bottle and it will also help you in making exact round circles of the coin. Now using this bottle, I'm going to make as many as coins possible. So now friends, we'll wait for at least 15 minutes to let all these dots get dry and then we can start placing our gold foil. Same process I'm going to do for these coins also from inside the colors. Doing the same for the jewelry of elephant. Now in the same way friends, I'm going to fill the complete mukut using the glue. Now after completing doing all the glue part, we will let it get dry for 15 to 20 minutes until the entire glue part turns transparent like this you can see here and then we can start placing our gold foil. Now friends, after 15-20 minutes, our gliding glue has turned transparent completely as you can see here and all the jewelry part itself. So now friends, we are going to start placing the gold foil which looks like this. I have already separated and cut it into small pieces. I am going to start placing it right from here and then gently press it so that it can get exactly on the glue in this way. Now after placing gold foil on all the required parts, gently give it a press just using your one finger. Just a little bit of gentle tap as the glue is completely dry so the gold foil will very nicely get stick to the glue and then it will be ready to be removed. 
and now friends to remove the gold foil simply use a cutter like this using which go all over the shape of the gold foil or the design which you have placed do not touch the knife to the glue and gold part you have placed which can absolutely destroy the designing part so just roughly you have to do this but you should definitely know where is the gold and not and then using a paintbrush simply brush off that excess gold in this way i'm going to do this to the entire jewelry part it's really really very simple and easy make sure to clean each and every extra particle of gold before we start doing the coloring part okay you see we just get this much excess gold dust just clean it out so now friends i'm going to dust off these all excess gold foil and the powder of gold we have received and then show you how does it looks now friends i have finally completed cleaning up all the excess gold foil from our base and this is how beautiful it looks and with that i have also decided to do a border of golden dots so i have already placed glue on the borders as you can see they are yet to dry so i'm going to do the same process as we have done the golden foiling on the devi and the jewelry part i will be doing on the borders and the dots by applying glue inside the peacock design then let it get dry for 15 to 20 minutes till it gets dry completely then place the gold foil clean it up and then show you finally how does it looks okay Now friends, I have finally completed doing all the gold foiling and designing part and then this is how beautiful our painting looks. So now let's start our coloring part for which we are going to use Fevicryl glass colors which are water paste and I'm also going to make use of the glittering glass colors available from the same Fevicryl. Now first of all friends, I'm going to use antique white camel glass color which is solvent based. And I'm going to use this color only in few particular parts where I want it to be white. Now I'm going to fill the same glass color in the elephant. Now I'm going to use a red color and with that I have mixed a little bit of red pixie dust glitters to make it look like this. Just mix a little bit of glitters and shake your bottle very well to get this kind of glittering color. Or else you can also buy the pack of red glittering colors in which you'll already get ready mix glitter glass colors. Now friends I'm starting to color goddesses sari using the red glittering colors. In the same way, we are going to do filling up of the jewelry part also. It won't matter if this time the red is overlapping gold. It won't be visible from the front side. Now, I'm going to use skin color and using it, I'm going to color all the skin part. Now using light pink color, I'll start coloring the lotus. Now for coloring the lotus, I'm going to use a combination of white and pink. So first of all, I'll pour just one or two drops of white on the top in this way. 
drag it a little bit down and then start pouring pink and finally start dragging just a little bit of pink upwards in this way mix the pink with white as you can clearly see here friends i have just mixed a little bit of pink glitters with the same pink color Now in the same way friends I have completed coloring the lotus part so now let's move on to our next part and for that I'm going to use crystal green color. Now I'm using brown color and after that I'm using red. Now in the same way friends, we'll start doing our background coloring part and for that first of all I'm going to use brown and in the same way I will be coloring the rest of the sides. Now after brown, I'm using orange color, mixing it up with the brown, create a shade like this. Finally, after that, I will be using yellow here. Now finally, for the center, I'm going to do a shading of white and yellow. For that, I'm going to use white first. Now friends, I have finally completed doing all the coloring part and this is how our painting looks when it has got dried up completely after 24 hours. So now let's quickly turn it out and take a look how it has come. So glass painting is always to be turned out so that you can see the front part which is to be framed. And finally friends, this is how beautiful beautiful our glass tanjore painting looks i absolutely love the beautiful designing we have done on the sides as well as in the jewelry you can clearly see the beautiful glittering red sari and the gold mukut absolutely looks so real the presence of gold makes it look so rich that definitely this painting deserves to be said Tanjore glass painting. And now friends, we have finally completed making this beautiful Tanjore glass painting and this is how beautiful beautiful it looks. You can easily frame it with a gold broad border frame which will perfectly match it and a special announcement for all my viewers who wanted to know me more and wanted art related videos in Hindi. So here is my new channel Creative Art Home in which I will be sharing some inspiring stories, a travel blog and all the hobbies I have like gardening, painting, cooking, baking and you will get to see my cute cats a lot more. So friends, do click on the link to check out my new channel and do subscribe my channel friends to know more about me and to watch this same video in Hindi which I have made specially for my Hindi audience. Have a nice day. Bye.